Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing from the 2010 Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figure line, or toy line, or whatever you want to call it, the Blade Blaster and the Dragon Dagger. Uh, now these are two, uh, figures? They aren't figures, they're toys. But I don't like using toy because I'm 22 years old. But, uh, these two toys are, uh, definitely the, one, the only accessories or gear that I wanted to get. Uh, they had these two come out and then a bigger dragon dagger with a blade coming out, which I'm not going to buy. That That's not logical. Although it is bigger, so I probably should have. But these are two things I really want to get because the dragon flute is awesome. Who doesn't love the tune? Uh, I, I would whistle it, but it probably wouldn't come out on my, uh, my camera. But who who doesn't love the Dragon Zord tune? And then the Blade Blast is just cool. Flat out cool. So with that said, let's get into these. Uh, let's start off with the Blade Blaster. A little information about the Blade Blaster. Uh, the Blade Blaster was the standard weapon for the uh, five original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, the White Ranger did not have one, and the Green Ranger really didn't use it. I believe he did have it once. He did use it once in a while, but usually instead of having this in his holster on the side, he would have the Dragon Dagger. Um, but the Rangers would keep it on the holster on the side, and this would be used for long range and close range combat whenever, the, for some odd reason, they didn't want to use their uh, power weapons. And in addition to that, the Rangers could make a, uh, a pyramid, like cheerleaders, and put their blades, blast this together, and shoot a triangle attack, or a tri attack, kind of like the trio from Pokemon. Whoa! Whoa. Back in the day moment. It's been years since I played Pokemon, but... Uh, but anyways, Blade Blaster has three modes. It has the standby mode, which is like this, uh, which really wasn't used for anything except for putting them together to make that triangle attack. Stayed nicely in the holster on the Rangers. The second mode was the Blade mode, which you just flip the blade up, and this was used for close combat purposes. Uh, really wasn't necessary for some of the ranges, like why would you want to use this when you could have the power sword like Jason, uh, or Trini's double daggers, I mean, really. But uh, I guess it was useful for like Kimberly, who had a crappy power weapon. But uh, the blade, which uh, looks kind of cool actually, I have to admit, it looks pretty badass. Uh, and then they have their uh, second, uh, the third mode, which is the blaster mode, which what they would do is put this down like that, turn it around, and stack that forward and the blaster mode. So let me show that to you so that you can see it. All you do is you take it down and you push that forward and then you go to the blaster. And this was the third mode and probably the most commonly used mode out of the three. Actually I shouldn't say that because the, the blade mode was probably used the most. Uh, uh, was used as much as the blaster mode but uh, it does have a little light there. You can use the trigger and boom a little light show up on the uh, eyes. But that's about it. Nothing really else. Uh, it, it does have the original colors from the show. It's a little bit smaller than uh, the original toy. This uh, obviously is made for kids. However, it fits well in the hand, so it's not that bad if you're an adult or you're a 22-year-old geek. One of the two. Um, got these with my girlfriend, and she just looked at me, and she went, Why do you need that? I said, Because it's a Power Ranger Blade Blaster. Uh, very nice uh, accessory, toy. Uh, definitely like it. Uh, probably my favorite mode out of the three is definitely the blade mode. Uh, I don't know, I, d I just think it's pretty cool. So, uh, probably the most useless, but definitely pretty cool. So, that is the blade blaster. Let's just take an in-depth look at it. Uh, you see Power Rangers on the side there. Let me put in, uh, gun mode. Not much difference. Just a handle and no blade. Um, uh, but overall a very satisfying thing to buy. A very satisfying toy. And next is the Dragon Dagger. Uh, a little information about the Dragon Dagger. The Dragon Dagger was the personal weapon of the Green Ranger. And uh, he used it in combat many of times. Uh, it can be used on multiple different levels. Uh, probably most notable for calling upon the Dragon Zord and controlling the Dragon Zord with the Dragon Flute. You can also use the Dragon Flute to activate the Dragon Shield, which reflects all uh, projectiles off it. In addition to that, he could also use the Dragon Flute to cause other projectile attacks. Uh, most notably was from the Fighting Spirits when the Spirit Green Ranger did it. But he used to use projectile attacks with it all the time. He had the Dark Sword and he put it together and made energy orbs come out. But uh, 
The Dragon Dagger is definitely one of the coolest weapons, probably one of the most notable of the power weapons for, um, for fans, because it was probably the most popular. Uh, one of my favorites, although I always preferred the Power Sword, not because it was the Red Ranger's weapon, just because I like swords more. Um, so yeah, the Green Ranger would keep it in his holster in the side, as opposed to the Blade Blaster. Uh, so yeah, that's the Dragon Dagger, and check the other side. Um, uh, really what this figure or toy could do, why do I keep saying figure? What this toy can really do is, uh, it can light up, and if you blow into it, it makes a really weird sound. You probably won't hear it, but... That's about it. It doesn't make the classic Dragon Zord. Da, 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 which sucks. But, uh, yeah, the Dragon Dagger. Uh, very nice looking. Uh, definitely out of the two, the one I wanted to get more. However, I'm a little pissed off that it's kind of small. I mean, you can kind of make it look like it works, but for an adult, the handle is way too short. I almost want to say I would recommend getting the bigger one, although that just looks like too much of a toy. Uh, definitely smaller than the original 1993 figure, or toy. So, with that said, I'd take one more look. Uh, just want to do a quick review of these. Uh, they are both around 10 somewhat dollars. You can get them for, I believe, 10.99. Uh, are they worth it? If you're a nostalgic collector, you probably already have them, so... I would say the Blade Blaster is. Dragon Dagger... I'm a little up in the air, which sucks, because this is definitely the one I wanted to get the most, but it's just really small. For display purposes, they're both nice for, I don't know, cosplay? Probably not, but... Well, maybe the Blade Blaster, but... Um, on a whole, do I recommend picking them up? Yeah. For nostalgic people? Sure. But um, if you don't have that much money on your hand, you probably should wait and hold out on that. So, with that said, uh, this is Andrew saying peace out for now.